Hi guys. Hey, are you ready for more carnivore camouflage and social settings? Well, stay tuned because I've got an excellent opportunity for you to replace those pancakes, waffles, tortillas, bread, etc. Coming right up. Okay, Angie. What do we got today? Here we go. We're going to start with four eggs. We're going to start with about four ounces of cheese. And we've got a handy dandy mini waffle maker with us today. So I'm going to have you go ahead and plug that in, let okay. that get warmed up. And I'm going to start mixing our two whole ingredients today. Two. Two. Okay. Egg one. Two, three, four. Okay, set those aside. Give a little rinse. So again, today we're going to use our immersion blender. I'm just going to whip up these eggs real quick. Try to get those incorporated. and whipped. Set that aside. Then we're, we're going to add our cheese. We're just going to add our cheese in here. So this is a great alternative for, like I said, pancakes, waffles, bread, toast. Um, you can use it for buns. You can use it as a tortilla. If you have any other ideas, drop a comment below and let us know. Okay, so we just mix that up real quick. This is so fast. Yeah. So fast. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, here we go. So? All right, here we go. Okay. One. Oh, that's cool. You can see the cheese in it. Two. Oops. And close it. Yeah, let's give it a close. You have to clip it. Or... Nope. Is it clip? Right. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Pick in, pick in. So, if it's going to be a bread alternative, Mm -hmm. What could we use it for? Sandwiches, uh, toast, yes. um, anything that you need to sop something up with. Mm, okay. Butter. Yeah, a, a toast, like a slice of bread yeah. when you're eating your steak or something yeah. maybe. Yeah. But it's eggs and cheese, so yeah. there's no carbs. Well, uh, yeah, if you use that, you could you can make yourself an egg over easy. So mm. excited. Yeah, yeah. And toast. Yes. Eggs and toast. Yes. What if we use this with our chicken salad? Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. We could have chicken yeah. salad sandwiches. You could do ham sandwiches with that mayonnaise. Carnivore camouflage oh, right there. Gosh. Easy that's peasy. Awesome. And no one awesome. would ever know the difference, yes. right? Just yes. like I have waffle oh, bread. Yeah. A breakfast sandwich. Yeah, bacon, breakfast sandwich. Mm. Bacon or a sausage patty, mm -hmm. you know? We're waiting for it Pretty to brown. Good. We okay. want it to brown on top. Golden. Now I'm, now I'm thinking about what else I could do. I guess if I had a larger, like, waffle maker, mm -hmm. you know, it'd be easier to do tacos. Oh, easy. Or, like a tortilla? Yeah. The tortilla alternative? Sweet. Yeah. Um, you could, I mean, it, it, you could maybe do an omelet and fill it with whatever you want. Like, if you had it big enough, you could roll it over. Mm-hmm. Right. I think Addison was saying you could maybe do uh, a calzone type thing with calzone, it. Calzone. A breakfast? Yeah. Pizza? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to lift it out of there this time. Fingers we'll crossed. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it'll come out. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Probably tongs, Look at maybe. That. Yes. Okay. Wow. Hey. That is so cool. An egg. <laughs> it's kind of a cute little size, like a mini snack or something, but. What's this called again? Chuffle. It's a chuffle. It's a chuffle bread. You chuffled your waffle. Nice. Carnivore nice. camouflage right That's there. Let's cool. try again. That's cool. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. Awesome. Sweet. And that, that's about the size of a McMuffin. 
Easy. Yeah, you know absolutely. It, it really is. It, it might be just a bit bigger, but it's right about that size of an egg McMuffin mm -hmm. and you would like get it. A uh, breakfast or a, a, what do they call that? An English muffin? English muffin. About the size of an English muffin? Yep. Um, wow, that's actually kind of cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm a big I'm a big breakfast fan. If you're a breakfast fan, drop me a comment, hit that like button, let me know. Absolutely. But I am. I'm a huge breakfast fan. I could do steak and eggs for the rest of my life. Mm, yeah. And I would be happy. Yep. I could do eggs and bacon and sausage. I could live on it. All day long. Yes. Okay, so I'm not a kitchen gadget person. I do not like kitchen gadgets. Tried to clean it up, make it simple, but this guy is small enough. He would tuck away really nicely. Okay. Absolutely. And and not clutter the counter. Um, but who doesn't like a little bit of like a sandwich every once in a while, right? I could put this in my vehicle and carry it everywhere I go. And all I would need is a single egg and like a converter. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we I forgot to tell everybody. Four eggs, right? Mm -hmm. And four ounces of cheese, so it's mm -hmm. kind of a one to one. Mm -hmm. And you've got a bread alternative. Nice. Nice. Wow. Okay. There it is. Wow. Look at that. But that was less than like five minutes. That was quick. That was quick. So I could probably use this for meal prepping through the week. Absolutely, you could. I don't know. You could probably eat this with just about any meal, right? Yeah. You like eggs with every meal. I could yes. eat eggs at every meal. This yes. would just be another way to yes. throw in an extra egg. Yeah. I, mean, I could see myself making up several of these, enough to where I had at least two or four for my first meal in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, preparing some sausage in advance or some bacon in advance and then just the day of. Put it together, nuke it, and go. You got your bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, yes. Yes. Chaffle on the go. Yes. Nice. Yes. And so this is actually something that you can use with your friends and family. Um, if you have family staying at the house, uh, say maybe on a holiday, if they're over at the house and staying with you, if your kids have friends over, this is actually a healthy way for them to be able to eat breakfast. Um, and it's it spices it up. It's a little more interesting that way. And actually, if you have children, it can be a fun way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fun in the kitchen. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So are you okay if I try the sandwich today? Go for today? it. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Awesome. Go for it. I actually haven't ever had any chaffles. Have you eaten chaffles? No, before? I have not. I haven't either. So I there's one without okay. our chicken salad. I'm going to try the one with chicken salad. It's a sandwich. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's good though. Yours is hot. Mm -hmm. This is actually good. Mm. Um, it kind of, and I don't know why, but it's it's a different flavor. It, so, like, if I was to scramble eggs mm -hmm. in a skillet, this has a little bit different taste to it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really taste like a scrambled eggs. It's not eggy at all. Mm -mm. I'm I'm surprised. No. I yeah. expected scrambled eggs, and yeah. it's not. Mm. I could eat that. I'm trying to I'm trying to pinpoint what that taste is. Good. Good. <laughs> awesome. Carnivore camouflage right there. Indeed. 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 Yes. Uh, so thank you for showing this. Um, Absolutely. So if you haven't checked out our other videos, uh, make sure you can go right here and check those out. We got one that's about mayonnaise. We got one about chicken salad. Um, and what was the other one we made? Carnivore dip. Carnivore dip. Oh, which was good. Definitely check those out. Uh, I'm Jimmy B. This is Angela Scalol with Heartland Homestead Families. Uh, thanks for coming to Becoming One. Have a good one.